Sutherland Show. And joining me on the microphone now, I have Billy Shinbone. Yeah. How are you? I'm really, really well, thank you. Thank you so yeah. much for uh, trekking from where? Where have you come from today to, to perform? Well, in, in theory, in theory, I've actually, no, in theory I've come from Glastonbury, but I did come up to West London last night. Oh, okay. So we just came over on the tube. So a little so, bit easier, but from yeah. Glastonbury, what's life like in Glastonbury when it's not the festival? It's, well, when it's not the festival, it's, it's, Great. it's very eccentric, <laughs> I would say. Yeah, we've got... Yeah, a lot of a lot of shops that sell crystals and crazy tomfoolery of all spiritual kinds, but um, uh, but then again, there isn't a dry cleaners, so um, uh, it's yeah, you've got to got to travel for your dry cleaners right, or any of your normal smooth. products. Yeah, but it, it's fun. It's it's full of interesting people. And is is there a music scene there of any description? Where, yeah, yeah. Everyone's a musician or an artist or an actor or something like that. It's it attracts. All of us, really. So it's it's. I mean, it's a, a varying quality, but for such a tiny town, it's. I mean, you can see live music in two or three different venues seven nights a week. Oh, okay. Yeah, and there's only whatever twenty thousand people or something like that. So it's it's pretty good. So it's worth visiting, even when oh, it, it isn't is. at the height of. Actually, um, it really is actually. For yeah, you know, there's lots to do there. It's it's a fun place. Yeah. And at festival time, it's totally dead because everyone avoids the town. <laughs> it, it's a wasteland, you know, so... Um, it's a bit like London at Christmas, most enjoyable time of year, actually. On Christmas Day, walking yeah. through the empty streets. Yes, yeah. London, yeah. It is a bit like that, yeah, because yeah. everyone's at the festival and there's just a few shopkeepers twiddling their thumbs, cursing. That their cursing crystals the are sitting weekend. there yeah. gathering yeah. dust on the exactly. shelf. Exactly, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, look, you are here today in London, Billy, and mm. uh, you have your new single, of which you kicked off your uh, fine set I only did. moments ago. Yeah. If you think you'll get away with it, you're wrong. That was released yesterday? Yes, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Is it physical form? or that The download was yesterday. You can buy it on physical form on a little CD um, that you get a free badge and free sticker with, but you can get that from Tiny Dog Records or at a, okay, tinydog.com is the record label. They'll send you that and they'll send you some... Little, little bits and pieces because they're nice like that. Okay. So, um, or you can buy it from me at a gig. And I'm at, um, next week I'm in London. Yes, so, I was going to say, you have yeah. the launch party hit up here in the Big Smoke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what, where, where and when? It's at Jamboree on Cable Street. It's part of the Des Was A Bowie Fan Club Night, which is a really great night that plays a wild mix of music. It's a, it's a really great place in a kooky little venue with delicious bottles of beer. And um, yeah, so I think I'm on about 10.30. They've also got some kind of Bulgarian choir. The Owl Parliament? Yeah, that's right. South Fleet? Yes, yes. Uh, you, do you know about these or are they just names? Uh, only from, from what I've sort of looked up, but they all sound really interesting to me. Yeah. It's the, the people that put on those nights have got a great test. They put on loads of interesting stuff. So this is next Saturday, the 16th yeah, of Jan. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. this is all a precursor to an LP? Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's partly recorded and there's more of it happening soon. So that should be out, I think, in the early summer, I would think. A working title? I haven't got one yet. Right. Other than the Billy Shinbone. Are you looking LP. for working titles? Well, we could you could choose one now if you like. Yeah. If people if people want to uh, maybe you know chip in an idea for a working title for Billy Shinbone's LP. Yeah. Um, maybe. Well, we're we're on um, Twitter at the minute uh, at Dexter Bentley. We're on Facebook, the Dexter Bentley Hello Goodbye Show. Or they could contact you, Billy, directly via what? BillyShinbone.com. BillyShinbone.com. Yeah. Now there is also a connection with another band I've had on this show <laughs> many, many years there ago. Is. Yes. Flip Ron. Flip Ron. Yes. Are they still a functioning outfit? They are indeed a functioning outfit. Yeah. Yes. They, I mean, they, they, they play. I say they. Yeah. My, um, <laughs> my, in theory, cousin, my identical cousin, if <laughs> such a thing exists. Yeah. Is, um, Clone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse from Flip Ron. He's very much like me. Yeah. But um. Uh, yeah, he, he's 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 a bit more of a band person and um, less less rustic and rural and a bit more urban and sophisticated. What, what what's going on in the world of Flipron? Well, Flipron that we oh look at that, I'm giving myself away. Flipron had a year <laughs> a year off or so because we've been doing it for years and years and years and we thought it would be time to do something different and we wanted to try different stuff. So we had a year off. So and you now we are slowly and solo projects. exactly yeah. yeah we turned ourselves into other people and other things and um, now we are sort of slowly reimagining ourselves back into the people we used to be once again and see what we look like now. So yeah, yeah we we are playing and we we've, we've got new material and there's there's stuff still happening so um, we are we cannot be stopped. 
really. So if people were to want to go and see Flipron, having remembered you from the heady past, yeah. uh, where, when would we be the next opportunity? Um, the next opportunity is next Friday 15th in Bristol at the Stag and Hounds. Which okay. is part of a, a big sort of free festival that runs in Bristol. I know for a fact we have listeners in Bristol right now as oh. I speak because they've been uh, sharing the tweets this morning. So uh, fantastic! It's a hopefully great place, they'll be Bristol. getting themselves down to the gig. Yeah. Are you playing it as well in their solo capacity? Yes, yes. So yes. you'll be. What time yeah. are you on? Uh, I think. Well, Billy Shimbone show will be on at about seven thirty, and then Flipron will be on about ten thirty. Okay. And there'll be all the manner of interesting things in between. A really great band called I Cantina as well will be playing at about nine ish. It's going to be a good night. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything we missed, Billy? I don't think so. I mean, I could talk for hours, <laughs> but um, I think um, the, the the crucial things that um, uh, that here as as a musician on a radio program to promote my latest wares, I think we've covered them really wonderfully. Thank you. Good. Well, yeah. thank you so much to Billy Shimbo. The Billy pleasure. Shimbo Show coming onto Resonance to play for us live. Go and see him on Saturday the 16th here in London with the Owl Parliament and South Fleet at Jamboree, which is on Cable Street uh, here in London. £7 on the door, £5 in advance, kicks off at 8. Get hold of the single. If you think you'll get away with it, you're wrong on Tiny Dog Records. Thank you, Billy. Thank you very much. OK, right now, uh, sticking with a Cable Street theme, we are now going to play an artist, uh, Red Cable Sunday, a.k.a. Dennis Fernando, who actually took his name from Cable Street. He's an, he's an activist as well as a musician. Uh, obviously, Cable Street being famous for um, the battle of Cable Street when uh, anti-fascists prevented Oswald Mosley's black shirts from marching through the East End on the 4th of October 1936. That's the kind of thing that rocks um, Dennis Fernando's uh, boat. He has a single out. This is it. It's called Relentless. Okay. <laughs> 